Hey guys, Allie with Tit B, and today we're going to take a look at Lock Info 3.0 that I uh, was able to get a preview of from the developer. Um, a lot has changed in Lock Info in 3.0, mostly appearance wise, a lot of new tweaks that are um, much welcome. Um, I haven't had any issues. This is a beta version, but um, I have not had any issues with this. Um, no crashes, nothing like that. Little bugs here and there, but nothing too big. Um, from what uh, David Ashman's saying, uh, public beta should go live soon, so you guys can all check it out. Um, when we hop into settings here, the first thing you're going to see is some of it stayed the same, and you're going to have a few additions, um, like appearance right here. When you tap that, you've now got themes, as you can see right there. Um, so what that is, is you tap into default theme, and you can change these themes. Right now, if I pull info shade down, I've got the classic theme, and we'll talk about some of these additions here in a minute. But just for themes, this is the classic theme. It's very similar to uh, the current theme on Lock Info, just revamped a little bit. Now, let's go to maybe the iOS theme. And I'll come out of here and pop that down. Oh, sometimes you got to exit out of settings. Um, no, most of the time it doesn't require a respring. Um, so let's tap that again and see if that changed it. There you go. So um, what I do like is this does not require a respring for these changes to take place. So for me, um, this is great. Now, um, let's talk about some of these things on here. As you'll notice up here, this is brand new. Um, this is a favorites tab. This is aggregating all of the favorites from your phone book. Um, you can tab through them like this, and you can see all my favorite contacts in there. And um, what you can do is if I tap, say, Kimmy here, it'll bring up an option to call or text message her. Whatever number you have defaulted in your favorites is the one it's going to bring up. Uh, really nice, it'll pop into a Byte or whatever SMS program you've specified it, uh, specified it use. Otherwise, obviously, it'll call them. So, you know, you can tap any single one of these, and it'll go ahead and call them. Um, another thing you'll notice, and I've sent myself a couple text emails here, um, you'll see that you've got a uh, SMS right here. Well, let me see if I can focus that a little bit better. You've got uh, inline pictures for all these. So if you have a Facebook notification, you'll see the little Facebook badge. And there we go, there's a notification right there. So I can close that one out. And you can see that it's showing me Words with Friends. I've got uh, two games going on there. And then Facebook, it's showing me um, some stuff there. And then Twitter's showing me that I have stuff. Um, there is going to be, I think, a swipe to preview option. I don't know if you swipe or what, um, but that's not in this beta yet. But um, to dismiss, you can just simply tap like you would normally. If you want to delete it, then you can just hold down on it. Um, same as before. Uh, not too much has changed, but um, what I do like, you know, you can still pop you right into that app. So, and then the notification will go away. Um, same deal on the lock screen. So, you've got a... Uh, all that stuff here. And like normal, if you have um, maybe an email that you don't have a contact picture for, then um, you can go ahead and uh, you'll just see the email. You won't see a contact picture with it. So overall, it's a much improved update. Let's hop back into settings here and uh, see if there's anything that I'm missing that's... Uh, pertinent in settings. Most of it you're going to be very comfortable if you've used this program before. Plugins are still the same. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is um, as you have a default theme here, you don't have to use that if you don't want to. You can actually go, um, oh, let's ignore that. Um, let's go to like lock screen. You're going to have an appearance tab in here now. So you can go there. And you've got your opacity settings, or um, you can adjust those like normal. This has a theme tab, and so does Info Shade and Home Screen. So if you're anything like me, sometimes I like to put um, a different lock screen background than I have a home screen. And sometimes maybe, you know, you can't read the text or whatnot, so you can actually change the opacity and um, change some of the settings or even the themes separately now, which is really nice. Um, I've done that. See, as you can see, like I've got a different picture on this background than I do on my home screen background, which is nice because I can customize it to where I can easily read the text on both. Um, that's a welcome addition. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that this is going to go into public beta soon, so you guys will have to let us know what you think when you get your hands on it. Um, I think this is a lock info update that all of you are really going to enjoy. You can tell that uh, David Ashman's worked very hard on this. Um, same activator gestures. Uh, one thing I did notice, uh, I don't know if this is the same with you guys, but um, and I don't know if I said this yet or not, but um, like missed calls, you see the count there. The count has not worked for me since 3.x, so the count is actually correct on everything so if you have multiple notifications and you fold them down um, you know you can actually see uh, correct counts for missed calls voicemails stuff like that and you can hide empty sections just like you did before which is what I do but um, let us know what you guys think in the comments thanks